Susan Hobbs here from uh, Pet Pals TV and Kelly Thomas of Critters Chance out in Avon joins us today. And we've got an interesting guest here mm -hmm. something this a little, morning. Something a little different. Right. Um, yeah. Not sure Iguana. you want to curl up in front of a fireplace with them and, you know, but, but he, they're very cool. They're very cool critters. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. this is, so in Iguana, we, there's a news story that we were out a little bit earlier um, this week about the fact that uh, if you're in Florida, be aware of them falling from trees. What's that all about? Well, I think Florida did, um, the temperature there has been a little lower than normal. Right. Um, and it can stun iguanas that are up in the trees. So, and when they get, when they get cold like that, they, <clears throat> they freeze and um, they'll just kind of fall to the ground. Um, I don't think it's really a big deal. It just people need to leave them alone. And, um, and uh, as soon as they warm up, they'll scurry off. And yeah, now how big will this get? Oh, he'll reach this up to six feet maybe Oh, longer. really? Mm -hmm. six He's just a baby, feet? yeah. And are they good pets? They can be. Um, they, you need to work with them a lot, handle them a lot, so they trust you, trust their surroundings, trust new people. Uh, a lot of them I've seen will walk on harnesses. Really? Um, but they just have to really have a bond with their owners. So, yeah, which seems um, like you've got a bond with Yeah, them. so I think we'll work with him. We just got him in a couple days ago. Um, okay. Looks like he, he's got you know a couple scratches on him. We'll get him vet checked and uh, I'll foster him for a while and uh, we'll try to find him a good home. All right, we want to talk about this. Uh, you, there's a deer, 18 inches, mm -hmm. is that right? An Asian uh, deer that yeah. apparently is now uh, wandered away, lost. Is that yeah. the, the case? Yeah, his name is Taco. Okay. He's a Munt Jack. Um, there's a picture, there's a picture of, of him. Right yeah, now. oh my gosh, he is the sweetest little thing. Uh, loves people. And is that as big as that uh, Taco yeah. will get? He's about four years old, so okay. he's, an old, he's a little bigger than a cat. Um, he got away from us. He's been missing for a little over two weeks now, right at two weeks last night. Okay. Um, what, did he get out of his enclosure? He did. Uh, I think a door wasn't closed quite right, or, you know, and he managed to get it open and got spooked and got um, scared off pretty far. Um, and he's over on the west side. He yeah, is. what was he last? Was he, has he been In spotted? A, he, he has been spotted. I'm a, a, a com almost 100% sure that these people did see him about six miles um, west of me. Okay. Um, he... Uh, now, how do they, do they survive in the cold and things well, like that? I mean, um, is it difficult for them? Uh, he's probably struggled a bit this okay. past couple of weeks. They, th he will get cold. They're not really um, native to this area. They're native to Asia and it doesn't get to extreme temps like it can here. Luckily we've had a pretty mild winter. Right, thankfully. Um, they do live in, in England as well. They were brought there at the turn of the century okay. and established. Um, they became kind of an invasive species there. So, now if you if you see him, if somebody sees him, if he is seen, um, I just please do not approach him. Um, he will dart the opposite way if anyone walks towards him. Really, um, he is friendly, but he's got to trust you first. So it's just like it's spooked, like uh, like mm -hmm, a lot of like deer. a deer, right. yeah. Um, so if he's seen, just try not to go near him. Call me as soon as possible. I'll try or, to get or to text, the area. Or text Texting, you. yeah, that's probably the best way is texting me. Um, and then I will get out there. We'll try not to spook him. Um, we can, I can kind of try to lure him with treats. He knows me. He knows his name. Um, the only thing we can do is try to get him in a confined area where we can put him in a crate and then I can get him home safely. And the last intersection area where he was seen The last is place he was seen was on 100 East between Danville and Pittsburgh. Okay. So okay. he could be anywhere in that area. So West Siders, heads up. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, recognizable for sure. So Taco yeah. um, here, give Kelly a call, 765-430-5610. WishTV.com, we've got that information there as well. Uh, Susan Kelly, thank you so much. We wish you the best and hopefully thank you. Thanks get for Taco back as well. Yes. Uh, don't forget you can watch uh, Pet Pals TV on Saturdays, 10.30 a.m. right here on Wish TV. You can also go to PetPalsTV.com. Randy. All right, Mike and ladies, appreciate that.